Hello, US 101 history class. Welcome to week six. So <coughs> you will notice um, this week that you have on your uh, work schedule, you'll have to have video notes in by Thursday evening. Everything else is due Sunday and you do have an exam, a take home paper exam that goes with uh, a, a regular Sunday paper. So this is a more work than usual. Um, and uh, I know for some of you this will be a little bit on the stressful side. Of course, exams are usually something that uh, does that for everyone, right? Um, but what you're going to notice is that it's there's, you don't have multiple choice uh, questions in this class. I'm not um, doing uh, uh, you know any quizzes with multiple choice. And so for some of you, this is harder. And for some of you, this is way easier. So the question then is, is what am I looking for on this? Uh, I simply say, tell me what you've learned all the way up until now. Okay. So uh, that could be sound too broad and uh, not clear enough for many of you. One thing I want you to all realize is that if you're doing your, your Sunday papers the way I want, Think about just doing the way you've been doing a Sunday paper, but literally thinking of the best way to summarize everything that you've learned through this class and then citing those sources. Um, you can repeat the same sources and comments, but it has to be an overall original paper. Does that make sense? So in other words, you out of your own paper, you can cut and paste, uh, let's say, certain citations that you might have had. Um, but when I read the paper, it should sound like the way, I mean, just imagine that if I was going to pay you $100,000 to tell me very concise, in a very concise way, what you've learned from this class with as much documentation as possible. In the, in what, like a just a few pages max, right? So in other words, so some of you are saying, how do, how do I do that? Well, look, I, I just want you to realize I'm not a difficult grader um, if you're doing the work. And what is the work that I want to see? Okay, so <laughs> so again, you're like, okay, what do, what do you want, Mr. Pollock? Have you noticed, since I've said whatever's on the Sunday papers, I want to see that you've been engaged with the material. I want to see that you have been reading uh, the texts and that you've put thought into what's going on. So when I look at your exam, it's very simple. First, I look for citations. Then I look for dates. So you got to have dates covering time periods and citations. That's what I look for first before I read. And that's how I always grade all papers. Please get this through your head. Some of you are still not you're forgetting these things and this is so fundamentally important. I do not even read your paper uh, right away until I see citations. And if I don't see citations, I immediately just don't look anymore. Then if you fix it with citations. I look to see dates and then I read. Okay. So those things need to always be there. And after that, I'm just going to look through and I'm going to say to myself, does this student sound like they've been in my class? Does this, does this, does this paper make me think that they have, you know, been getting the fundamental uh, 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 points of, you know, what we've covered? Now, keep in mind, I know, right, that American history is something that you've been learning since, like, what, middle school? But this is a little bit more meaty, a little bit more thought provoking, right, to say the least. And so remember, you you are going to simply use the work that we've been covering. Now, up to what point? Since I'm having you do a paper on the War of 1812, you can incorporate, you, you can go all the way up to the very week of this week's um, uh, information, or you can cut it off at there. Okay? So um, your work needs minimum to go all the way up to this week and maximum not go over what we covered for this week. <laughs> In other words, do anything that's, that goes beyond that. That I'm not too worried about. So um, again, I just want you to, to, to realize if you're doing well with the Sunday papers, 
Just expand on the way that I'm t saying and you will be fine. If you've been struggling with the Sunday papers and you're just not getting it and this is extremely difficult for you, then I want you to contact me and let's have communication about this. I'll be working from home all of tomorrow and possibly Tuesday. Then I have, I have two jobs. Some students are nervous to contact me when they're having a struggle. And every time students contact me, they thank me and, and realize they're so glad that they did. Because even if I'm giving you zeros and you're getting some things wrong and I keep writing to you, you're going to see I'm, I'm here to help you out. I want you to succeed. I'm, you know, if I give you any kind of uh, teacher voice tone, it's not because you're in trouble. It's because I'm just trying to help make things really clear for you and help you out. Like, so, you know, like, like I, most students find that it's, it's, it's a relief to talk to me when there's having problems as opposed to, uh, uh, more stress. Okay. Um, and so, um, that's mainly all I wanted to say on that. I really like, I, I'm seeing a lot of you put a lot of thought into your uh, papers and comments. I'm not sure that all of you have thought through some of the, <laughs> adding up all the elements that we covered this week and having a consistent, coherent uh, discussion on what you think the Founding Fathers meant by the Second Amendment, uh, maybe as opposed to what you think it should mean or want it to mean, or maybe you do. But I look at this and, and I, I'm, you know, just to say, you know, all of you who put any kind of thought on this, no matter what I, what my conclusion is, uh, I'm really happy that I'm seeing that you are, re, you know, looking at the material and then you're, and you're giving your thoughts and you get full points, not for, you know, agreeing to anything that I would uh, be trying to uh, articulate out there, but, th but that you're putting thought into it and you're, and you're, learning those little fun facts also that uh, for some reason we don't all know like that Morocco was one of the first countries to acknowledge uh, the United States as a country which is really counterintuitive right it's I mean it just opens there's so much there should just be a class on that <laughs> like what happened there and all the details behind that I think a lot of people would be very interesting and knowing and then this whole you know relationships of uh, of with Morocco and the United States. And then also covering Haiti and the Haitian Revolution in context to uh, the Louisiana Purchase and also the continual contradictions of <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. He supported the American Revolution. He was uh, comfortable uh, with Shays' Rebellion. He supported the French Revolution. And then the Haitian Revolution happened and he's terrified. Uh, he's so against it and he wants to punish Haiti and he's not what well, well, why because all rebellion is valid except for people who are under totalitarian slavery right and it's totalitarianism so that's a big contradiction huge massive and it was noticed even back then it's not that they're just men of their times uh, it's it's not uh, they're, they're right so we've already kind of been learning that but we really do have a complex set of figures and they're, the times do, there's still a different context to many things. It's a, it's, it's a complex history, right? And that we're going over. And I'm hoping that you're seeing that I'm introducing, introducing nuance into all these discussions. And I hope that we're understanding that word. If you, if you don't know the word nuance, look it up. It's almost nowhere in, a, in, in American political discourse. And I'm trying to put a little bit of it in here, despite my own strong opinions, if I'm asked about X, Y, or Z subjects, right? Okay, so um, in any case, uh, uh, keep up the good work and keep in contact with me. Again, if there's anything that you need, problems or issues. And one last thing to say, honestly, sometimes I forget we've been contact. It's, it's hard for me to juggle several hundred students. So if I'm responding to you as if we've never talked before, just Re -re be patient with me and say, Mr. Pollock, I, I asked you for this extension or we already talked. Can you remember, look at the, and show me, you know, the, the last uh, discussion. I'll apologize. I'm, uh, you know, um, if I give you a zero when I said that I'm not going to grade something yet, um, don't panic. Like I will always, you know, I will stick to my word. You'll never be punished for a mistake that I make. And, um, 
don't take it personal if I forgot we had a communication because again, I'm trying and I have one class where there's two students that have almost the exact same name and I keep getting confused uh, uh, because one contacts me all the time and the other one doesn't, but I get confused, which is the student. You get what I'm saying? So um, you know, just work with me. Be proactive in this class and know that I'm here to help you out. That's all. Okay, enough of that. Have a great week and I hope you all the best uh, and uh, we'll be in touch.